This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight after this TFNN noon Eastern time update. Dow's up 24. It was down quite sharply earlier on. It was down to 26,831 level, went underneath the 14 period moving average. Remember, that's what we've been looking at in my show today. I'm going to talk a lot about these two moving averages and why I think it's a process. It isn't just a one shot and done, unless there was at least a 380 to a 420 point decline, and we haven't had that yet. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. And we've got the Dow's is up 23. The S&P at this particular point is also up. It is up 1.61. It's trading. At, it actually is using for the third day in a row. It's using the 14 period moving average as a, as a support level. You can see the Maggie's turned down. It hasn't crossed negative. Stochastic's still good at 84%, but turning down. So we'll see because any time that the uh, E-mini starts, to, uh, sorry, the S&P. Uh, cash index so it's at 29.83 right now so it's to trade i mean trade in other words for three to four hours actually trades under the 29.72 level no i'm going to make it lower than that 29.68 level uh that would say okay now we're in for a deeper correction but in the meantime it's just a sideways movement and the qqq the ndx 100 is down 20 cents at 190.60 it's got a number of stocks especially some of the fang stocks that are really having some trouble right here so it's um the key support level will be at the 189.60 ish area and resistance is up at 191.50 and we're also looking at the iwm which at this particular point is up 10 cents at 155.53, holding on, desperately holding on to the 14 period moving average, the black line right there at 154.57, trading at 155.53, needs to get really above the candle high of Friday, which would be at 156.65. Hey, let's go to gold. Gold had a very nice overnight move. It's continued that. It's up 15 at 15.30. It's breaking out that from that narrow little strip that I call the, um, the, the trading band. It's going to an upper level now they're going right back to the 1546 this is actually very good action for gold but if by wednesday afternoon thursday morning gold is trading under 1500 it'll say uh oh that's just a bounce but if it goes over 1553 that's very good action. Just as we're about to wrap up, dollars acted quite nicely. Yeah, it's just holding a steady sideways move. I'll talk more about it with bonds and crude oil when we get back. Have a great day. Otherwise, I hope you stay for the show, Tiger Technicians Hour.